Hello class, Miss Harriet here. Welcome to today's art class. Yes, Wednesday's art class. Good job. Now, to make this, what you will need is some card, some different coloured cards, for example, brown, orange, and yellow strips. Yes, I've got some yellow strips. And to dress our scarecrow, we're going to use torn paper. So yes, we are going to make a scarecrow. Now, who uses scarecrows? Where do you find scarecrows? Good job. So you find scarecrows in the countryside or where there is farming. Because when the farmer plants his crops and seeds, sometimes the pesky birds like to eat the seeds. And that's not good because then that's going to destroy all of his hard work or her hard work. So with a scarecrow, we'll see it in a moment, but with a scarecrow, this will protect the farm or at least scare away any predators like birds who like to eat the seeds. Yes, they'll have to find seeds somewhere else. Yes. Okay. So um, I will talk you through this then. So first of all, you need to make a hat. A hat will look something like this. Good job. So then I'm just going to stick my hat there. I'll put some glue and I'll just stick the hat right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to stick this orange strip just across the hat. Just here to make it look more realistic. There you go. Now it looks like a hat, doesn't it? Then I'm going to add little strips. This looks like the scarecrow's hair. I think the farmer actually uses hay for this, but we are going to use little curly strips of yellow. So you just need to raise it up like that and stick them all down. Oh. Okay, let's start counting them. How many have we got so far? One, two, three. Good job. Well, let's do this side. Let's do one here. Let's do, oh. Let's do another one there and let's do another one just here. So how many do we have now? Good job everybody. We have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like our letter of the week. Next I'm going to stick his orange nose. So you need to make an orange looking nose. I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to do his eyes. Let's get his hair out of his eyes so we can see him. There's one eye. There's another eye. And then we want to do a face just like that. Scarecrows look a bit scary, so we're going to do his mouth like this. Very good, everybody. And then all you need to do is take little scraps of paper that you have and stick them on for his clothes. So, for example, one there, 
because he always wears a patched, an old patched um, shirt. So that's why I'm using little cut out strips of paper because this is usually what the scarecrows look like. Yes, they wear like a patched work shirt. It doesn't matter what colours you use, you can use all the colours you like. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, don't worry, it's just having a go and trying. Let's just do a few more so that he's got sleeves at least. And then I'll pause the video. There you go, so you might want to do some yellow strips as well. Just like that, just like that. And then until you have covered his entire body in strips of paper. So keep going until he's completely covered. We have a complete patchwork of clothes. Okay, everybody, so there you go. Here is a torn paper scarecrow, just using scraps of paper that you have in your house. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your amazing scarecrows. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.